here we are at the top of the mountain and I'm about and I'm about to show you how I do the downhills properly. I'm Tor Husod for the location and here we go. You have to gain gaps in downhills you have to ride very aggressively. Of course it helps to have one of the best downhills in the game. Oops, took that corner a little bit wrong. To regain speed you attack downhill. Some of these turns are really tricky, like that one. Now it's better to break too early than too late. And if you see a red line, you break. If you see a yellow line, you have to judge yourself. And if you see green, you just ride as hard as you can downhill. It's also a wise idea to eat something that fills the green bar before you or during downhill so we can get more energy for the next section. I think that's ba even Basil. As you can see I'm not riding extremely hard, but still that guy has trouble keeping up. That's what you get for having a really good downhiller. Leaders have another 10 kilometers before the finishing line. So it's very easy to go downhill really, you just need to concentrate. And practice helps too, of course. Now, I, I don't say I'm perfect at this, but I find them, in general, really easy to do. Also, I hope you can hear the braking sounds, because that can, may help you. There we go. Now I'm down, and now I'm going up again. And I gained this is the final climb. quite some time. Eight at an of 8%. It would be easier if I was in the peloton, but I didn't use a climber, so well, I hope you enjoyed watching and that you learned something. And I will see you later. Thank you for watching.